Hello everybody, it is time for me to put together a new unit and so I have pulled out all of our science curriculum so I can sort through it and put together a few science units for the spring. I've got books and games and hands-on projects and I've pulled everything out so I can sort through it and decide which units we're going to do. Now some of this material has already been sorted into different themes. I've got some nature science and geology and electricity but we're going to go through this and figure out which which materials we're going to use and for which units. Now all the while I am listening to Alice from Freedom With Learning and you can click on the screen to see some of her videos and I'll have the link in the description box as well. Okay so let's take a look at my nature unit. Hi everybody it is time for me to put together a new unit and I thought I would let you see what we're pulling together for our nature unit. So I've got books here that I'm using as reference books, activity books, and books that we're going to read aloud. So the first one I'm going to show you is called Animal Habitats and this is great for really young kids or for a crafty person because there's a lot of arts and crafts. This whole book is different arts and crafts and the one that we want to do is this one, the cutout paper cityscape. And so we're only gonna do one activity from that book, from this book, and that's going to be it. So I put a little flag there so that I remember to do that one. This one is probably not a book that we're going to get to unless we are specific, specifically looking at the butterflies that are in our region. It's a really nice coloring book. If anybody's into adult coloring, then this might be both educational and fun for you to do. And this one was from a corn naturalist. All right, this next one is going to be a reference book. I've already gone through it and I have marked the page that we're going to use. And this one is about plants because we are doing some planting at this time of year. And so I only needed to use these two pages for a lesson. And I could either go over this ahead of time and present it to the kids or we can read it together because the illustrations are really nice. Okay, so the next book is called The Kids Nature Book, and this book has 365 indoor and outdoor activities and experiences. And so it goes through every day of the year, and it has a little activity that you can do. So this is really great. You don't just need to use this in the spring. You can use it any time of year. And I've already marked the pages that I want to do some activities for. So I just added a little flag so I would know to turn to those pages because we're not going to do the whole book. The next couple of books are just reference books. Now, because it's spring and my kids just wanna be outdoors, exploring nature and playing, we're not gonna do a lot of sit down reading. So these books are going to be more for my reference so that I can remind myself of the things that I forgot and just educate myself on things that I didn't know so that I can be presenting this to the kids while we're out and about because their focus isn't really book oriented at this time of year. We really kind of work with the seasons and work with my kids ability to focus and their ability to explore and do hands-on activities and so this book is going to be for my reference and same with this book this one is going to be on trees these are eyewitness books and these are great for just familiarizing yourself with information it's a I find the eyewitness books as beautiful as they are they're a little bit hard to read from start to finish but they're great as reference books uh, this one is another book on trees and I've already gone through and I have flagged all the pages that have trees that are in our area so that again I can familiarize myself with these trees and learn a little bit about them <clears throat> excuse me so that when we're out in nature I can find those trees and I can say something about them okay the next couple of books are ones that we will read together the kids and I and this one should keep them pretty well engaged because in my opinion they're really well illustrated and that usually keeps the kids interested in the book and plus they're just an easy read and they're informative so I'm excited about doing these ones I chose the two that related to the things that were in our area I felt and it comes with I think 11 or 12 different books so just two for this unit here are a couple other books that I think will be nice for this unit. This one is a Native American tale and I like adding some other subjects into our units and so we're doing a nature unit which is a science unit and this brings in some culture and history and so I'm excited to go over this book. 
Then we have Caterpillars, Bugs, and Butterflies. And this is another fun book that I don't think that we'll actually get through, except maybe do a couple of pages here and there, depending on what relates to the things that we're seeing in our environment. And we're going to be doing the grasslands, the woodlands, the chaparral, and coastal mountains, I think, are the different plant communities in our area. Uh, this book I pulled for this unit, but I don't think we're going to have time to do it. It's great, easy little experiments, but most likely we won't get to this one, although some of them are pretty easy to do. We, we get a lot of just fungus on things that goes bad, so we can just observe those things. Uh, so anyway, this is a, this is a great book for get, giving you ideas if you're at a loss. We're not going to be going through this book cover to cover. The only reason why I pulled this book is because there are a couple of worksheets here on plants. Here it is. And so I'm only going to pull these two worksheets and this will be so that my kids have something that they can fill in and turn in to their teacher. We're with the charter school and every month we need to hand in some work. And since so much of our work is going to be in the field, we needed something that's physical that we can turn in. So this will work out really great for that. There are also these two different workbooks here. I really, really liked like these ones. They have uh, audio CDs that go along with them with really catchy tunes. I really enjoy them a lot. And there's four all together. This one is for life science, mammals, ecology, and biomes. And we're going to be saving animals for next year. And then there's this one that has title. Anyway, we'll probably use these ones the same way that we're using the other workbook. And it's just so that we have something to turn in if we need to turn something into our teacher. Again, since most of the things that we're going to be doing are going to be very hands-on. All right, these next three books I'm pretty excited about because I love adding other subjects into our unit. And this one is about math. And so I'm really excited to be adding this in because we studied the Fibonacci sequence earlier this year in our geometry unit and so I'm excited that we can revisit that in this unit. And next this one is a beautiful book that my sister gave me and this shows the different letters in nature. These are all just they're not staged. This is just what the photographer found so you can see the letter F, you can see E here and D and C and it's just it's a really lovely book to go through. If your children were learning the alphabet for the first time, this would be a nice book to let them just observe and find the letters on their own. It would be a, a fun little exercise. Okay, I'm excited about this next book. It's called The Tree Lady, and the reason why I like it is because it's about Balboa Park, which is in San Diego, so it's in our state, and it talks about a woman who wanted to set aside a portion of land for a city park and she learned about plants that would thrive in our dry climate rather than using plants that would need a lot of water. So I really like this one both for the, the fact that it's a biography, it works with our nature unit really well, and it also works with environmental studies and the fact that we are currently in a drought and this is a nice reminder that we can still have a beautiful garden and, and also be mindful of our water usage. Okay, next set of books. This one is called Poetry, and again, this one is a book that I love adding. Well, I just like adding other subjects into our unit studies, and so this one is a great way to introduce poetry into a nature unit. So I'm really excited about this book. Here's another one with math, and this is called Math in the Garden. And this has a lot of really simple activities that if you had enough time to just kind of think about these activities on your own, you probably could come up with them, but I love that it's all in one place. It tells you the ages and what you'll need. They're beautifully illustrated and I'm really excited about this book. All right, this one just has some hikes for our county, so I'm excited to explore some things that we haven't found before. This one is a really beautiful book about keeping a nature journal, and I just love looking through it because it's so beautifully illustrated. Now this will be more of a reference book, and I will be able to look through this and kind of draw some information out of it that I can share with the kids, but it's not something that we're going to read cover to cover. 
This will be the read aloud book that we're doing. It's My Side of the Mountain. And the last thing I have to share with you here is that we made a lot of these nature journals. And I have a video on this. And so we made a bunch of these. And this is so that when we're out in the field, we can draw some of the things that we are observing. It turns out that it's really hard to get focused while we're in the field and draw some of the things that we're observing. So we'll probably do most of this back in our classroom because when we're out in nature, my kids like to explore and climb trees and enjoy it. Okay, so do stay tuned because I have a ton of activities to share with you for this unit. A lot of them are hands-on, some of them are even free or cheap, and I we've already started this unit so I can just tell you already that the majority of it has been outdoors or hands-on. Okay, thanks for watching.